The universe is vast and mostly empty, with distances between stars almost beyond comprehension. For centuries we thought our solar system was isolated, until something extraordinary arrived from the darkness between the stars. Imagine, a rock or icy comet, born around another star, tumbling into our backyard after millions of years in the void. That's what happened with the discovery of 3i slash Atlas. The astronomical community was electrified, telescopes worldwide raced to observe this rare visitor. Why the excitement? Because interstellar objects are messengers, carrying secrets from distant star systems. Our solar system's objects share a common origin, but 3i slash Atlas is an outsider, a tourist from another cosmic family. Its arrival is a scientific jackpot, a physical piece of another solar system, a tangible link to distant worlds. Studying 3i slash Atlas is like finding a message in a bottle from across the cosmic ocean. It's a profound reminder that we're part of something much bigger. For a moment, the cosmos feels less lonely. We're not just observing distant points of light, we're interacting with a piece of that distant reality. Every observation is a conversation with the universe. The discovery of 3i slash Atlas taps into our deepest curiosity. It unites us in wonder, reminding us the universe is dynamic, interconnected and full of surprises. As we track this silent visitor we all look up and ask, where did you come from? Its journey through our system is a fleeting but powerful connection to the greater universe. Each new interstellar object brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos, and so, we watch, we wonder, and we learn. How do astronomers know when an object comes from another star system? It's all in the trajectory. Solar system objects are bound to the sun, looping in predictable ellipses, like Halley's Comet, always returning. But interstellar visitors follow a different path, a hyperbolic trajectory. They come in fast, swing around the sun, and shoot back out, never to return. Their speed is the giveaway, too fast to be captured by the sun's gravity. Spotting these paths takes precision. Astronomers track the object's position night after night, plotting its movement against the stars. Computer models calculate the orbit. If it's a hyperbola, the excitement begins. It means the object is a true interstellar traveler, just passing through. Confirming this requires a global effort, with observatories worldwide verifying the data. Once confirmed, the object gets a special designation, I for interstellar. 3i slash Atlas is only the third such object ever found, a rare alien in our midst. Each discovery is a triumph of scientific collaboration and cosmic detective work. These objects are not just visitors, they're evidence of a galaxy in motion, and every new one teaches us more about the universe beyond our sun. Once we know an object is interstellar, the real science begins. What is it made of? Using spectroscopy, we analyze its light. Each element leaves a unique chemical fingerprint. By splitting 3i slash Atlas's sunlight into a spectrum, we can detect water ice, carbon monoxide, dust, and maybe even organic molecules. Its chemistry tells us about the conditions in its home star system. Is it rich in carbon, formed in a region with abundant water ice? Comparing its makeup to our own comets reveals the diversity of planetary systems. Sometimes we find isotopes in ratios completely alien to us, powerful clues about other worlds. As 3i slash Atlas nears the sun, it heats up. If it's icy, it forms a glowing coma and tail. Observing these changes reveals its internal structure. Is it solid or a loose snowball? Each detail helps us understand how planets form across the galaxy. Interstellar visitors are random samples from other star nurseries. By studying them, we learn if the building blocks of life are common or rare. Every new object adds a crucial data point to our cosmic survey. The chemistry of 3i slash Atlas is a window into the galaxy's creative power. Before 3i slash Atlas, there were others. The first, Oumuamua, discovered in 2017 was a bizarre, elongated object. No coma, but accelerating mysteriously. Its odd behavior sparked debate, was it a rock, a pancake, or something else? Then came Borisov in 2019, a classic comet with a bright coma and tail, rich in water and carbon monoxide. Borisov reassured us, some interstellar objects are familiar formed by processes like those in our own system. Oumuamua and Borisov showed the diversity of interstellar visitors, one strange, one familiar. Each new object expands our understanding of what's possible. Is 3i slash Atlas more like the enigmatic Oumuamua or the cometary Borisov? Every discovery helps us prepare, observe and learn more quickly. The legacy of these objects is a global network of astronomers ready for the next messenger. Each arrival is a new chapter in our exploration of the galaxy. Whenever a strange object like Oumuamua arrives, a tantalizing question arises, could it be artificial? Some, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, 
have considered the alien probe hypothesis, especially for objects with unexplained behavior. Most scientists favor natural explanations, nature is often more imaginative than we are. For Borisov and 3i slash Atlas which behave like normal comets, an artificial origin is unlikely. Still the question matters. It keeps us open-minded and vigilant for anomalies. We check for radio signals, unnatural changes in trajectory or odd brightness. The odds of finding an alien artifact are tiny but not zero. The galaxy is ancient. Advanced civilizations could have sent probes, just as we have. So, as we study 3i slash Atlas, we remain skeptical but hopeful. Watching closely, just in case. Each interstellar visitor is a reminder to keep asking bold questions. Studying interstellar objects is a passive search, we wait for them to come to us. But we also listen for life. This is SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. For decades, SETI has scanned the stars for signals, beacons, patterns, or pulses that might reveal alien technology. So far the universe has been silent, but the search continues with ever better tools. We've also tried the reverse METI, sending messages from Earth like the Arecibo message in 1974. Some warn this could be risky, advertising our presence might attract unwanted attention. Others argue the rewards of contact outweigh the risks. The debate forces us to reflect on our own nature and hopes. Whether listening or sending the goal is the same, to answer, are we alone? Interstellar visitors like 3i slash Atlas are unintentional messages. Physical samples from other worlds? They tell us if the ingredients for life are common. SETI and the study of interstellar objects are two sides of the same cosmic quest. Both are driven by our desire to know our place in the universe. Studying interstellar visitors like 3i slash Atlas is about more than chemistry or orbits. These objects are time capsules from other histories, offering clues to the cosmic story of creation. They help us build a universal theory of planetary formation. Discovering life, especially on an interstellar object, would be revolutionary. Proving life is not unique to Earth. It would change our perspective, making us just one branch on the cosmic tree of life. Finding intelligent life would challenge everything we know, inspiring awe and perhaps fear. The possibility forces us to reflect on what it means to be human. For now, 3i slash Atlas is a silent visitor soon to vanish into the darkness, but its passage renews our wonder and appreciation for the cosmos. The search continues, bigger telescopes, deeper listening and ever watchful eyes. Our desire to explore and connect is at the core of who we are. The universe is calling, and we are listening.